right, Jason's back. Jason, a little bit dreary in parts of the state today, but looks like tomorrow might be better. Yeah, we're making improvements. Yeah. Uh, you know, it depended what time of day, where you were today, the rain, but we're getting to the 50s and 60s are starting to become the norm. More showers and clouds overnight. Those are mostly up in northern Maine, pushing out of the state into Canada. Sun to clouds. So we'll start off with sun, go to clouds, late showers tomorrow, kind of like an opposite. And then here we go. Spring has sprung. I mean, this is it. The snow maps for the next, you know, 10 days only flakes, highest elevations, and nothing significant. So it's over, okay? Start thinking about getting the, the spring plants going. Here's that rain now moving into the county and east up towards New Brunswick. That's going to push east and out over Callis. Uh, eventually Eastport just a bit. This leading edge is gone. We got a little bit of a carved out dry slot there. A little bit of high pressure moves in and then there's a little bit more west of that, but that's going to dive south of us tomorrow late in the day. So we're going to get the worst of it. Temperatures west wind 40s to mid 40s. I mean for sleeping weather, this is pretty comfortable, right? Eastport 42, Millinock at 44, uh, Dover Foxcroft 44. Into tonight, that rain pushes east as promised. Waking up Sunday, here's that sun carved out in southern Maine. A lot of sunshine to start the day, okay, outside of the mountains and down east. And then eventually, we start to see clouds rolling, but really not until the afternoon in Portsmouth. But a lot of sunshine through a good chunk of the morning and midday for almost the whole state. Now the clouds are going to push in, yes, later on Sunday, 7 o'clock. Here's the rain coming in. That's mostly York County first up towards the Oxford Hills next Sunday night. OK, so dinner plans, but a lot of this stays south. A batch of it heads up north. We're on the cool side of this system, not necessarily cold, but cool enough that we don't see severe weather like Philadelphia will see tomorrow. A tornado threat for them, not for us. Into Monday, there will be passing clouds, a few showers, Although I'm not overly concerned with this, temperatures make a run for 60 again. And then we clear out Monday night. West we, uh, wind kind of this is the theme here. Light systems coming through, clearing out. Big chunk of clearing into Tuesday morning. A lot of sunshine to start the day on Tuesday. Clouds do come in Tuesday afternoon outside of southern Maine. Here come those clouds, but no real rainmakers there. The next system rolls in after that. I think it misses us Thursday and the you know bigger batch of rain gets in more towards later Friday. So small craft is up. That's until Sunday at 8 o'clock when gusts into 25. Here we go with the forecast the next several days. It's sun to clouds, so we're starting off dry, late showers, and then really overall several nice days except for a few showers. And then into the forecast here on Thursday and Friday, the showers roll around. But really before that, not a bad stretch. I'm not going to say Monday is completely dry 100%, but Tuesday, if I had to say Tuesday, kind of Wednesday, those are really the picks of the week. Those are the best shot at being dry all day. But I think at this point, getting back to the normalized feeling of it just being sunny and not being snowing, not raining, is would be a nice feeling. Zach. Yeah, absolutely. And good for all those kids on school vacation this week. Parents can send them outside. Yeah, not have to, <laughs> not have to put on the uh, snow boots. Yeah, yeah exactly.